Hey guys, what's going on? This is David. It is Two Minute Tuesday. So I'm recording from a Starbucks. I'm recording from my laptop as well. So I apologize for all the background noise. So a little background about this video. This is an Ask David question. And it's going to be in two parts. So I'm going to be sharing part one today. And I'm going to share part two next week. So stay tuned for that. And I'm going to apologize right now. My hair is a mess in this video. I think I did this at the end of the day. But uh, I just want to give you some background on that. Okay, here we go. What if you break a promise to God? Is that the unforgivable sin and means that you can't go to heaven no matter what you do? If it's not the unforgivable sin, what is? Second Timothy chapter two, verse 13, it says, if we are unfaithful or if we are faithless, he remains faithful for he cannot disown himself. He is just even when we are unjust. Breaking a promise to God uh, is not the worst thing. Listen. God can forgive them. Peter and the disciples, they said, we're going to follow you. And what happened when Jesus was about to be crucified and the uh, authorities came after Jesus, basically everyone left except John and Jesus' mother. All the other disciples have left. They fleed. I mean, these are the guys who said, we're going to follow you. Peter committed, saying, I won't we even let you be captured. I mean, he was so adamant about this. Yet, when the time came, not only did Jesus get captured, but Peter denies Jesus three times. Here's the grace of God uh, on Peter and on your life. When he resurrected, he made a mention to the women who found him. He said, go and tell my disciples and Peter. Literally, he was making sure, emphasizing, go and make sure that Peter hears that I'm, I've, I've come back, I've resurrected. Fast forward, when Peter is with Jesus, Jesus says, Peter, do you love me? Feed my sheep. He asked him again, Peter, do you love me? Yes, Lord, Peter says. He goes, okay, feed my sheep. He goes, Peter, do you really love me? He goes, listen, do you love me? Feed my sheep. Peter denies Jesus three times, and Jesus stores Peter with uh, three statements. Peter, do you love me? Just because you've broken a promise to God doesn't mean that God's not faithful. It doesn't mean that God takes away the grace of God on your life. Listen, I like to say it like this. If you are alive, there's grace on your life. In the Old Testament, when uh, Korah and the gang rebelled against Moses, the Bible says the earth swallowed them up. And I, I mean, I want to say, man, that's some wrath. That's some, that's right then, like that's the judgment of God coming on them. If God was that angry with you, he would probably just swallow you up. But the fact that you're alive means that there's grace on your life to get those things that are in your heart. Like, man, I'm not, this is an area that's that's wrestling, that's wrestling my heart. Maybe that's the Holy Spirit asking you, hey, uh, come back to me. Hey, feed my sheep. Hey, do you love me? Hey, uh, I'm still calling you to the thing that I've invited you into. God isn't done with you yet. And so, guys, thank you for watching. Throughout season two, there's going to be some more questions. So I'm going to do a few more Ask David questions in season two. So I'd love for you to watch that. And I'd love for your feedback. So do me a favor. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you agree, if you disagree, if you have a different answer. I would love to hear that. I would love to know your thoughts on this. And also, real quick, here in the U.S., it is election day. And I know some of you, at the end of the day, end of the week, end of the month, you may get disappointed about who's, who's in office, maybe who was your candidate, maybe it's not your candidate. But in, regardless of who is in the office, I want to remind you God is still in the throne. His plans and His purposes will still prevail. And the kingdom of God, the Bible says the expansion of His kingdom, there is no end. God is still in the throne, and you can rest assured in that. Regardless of who's in the office, you can rest assured the kingdom is still at hand. All right, guys, we'll see you Tuesday. Talk to you later.